Miss Wheelchair DC, Katie Buckman, teaches English nearby. This crack alongside her apartment building, however, presents an obstacle. It's right down there, and there's a huge crack. And usually I pay attention, mm -hmm. but a couple weeks ago I wasn't. I was, honestly, I was on the phone. <laughs> and I was like texting and not looking, and I, my front wheels went like caught right in there, and I had to go. And I so fell, sorry. hands and knees on the ground. Unfortunately, Katie's story is not unique. In Katie's neighborhood, Accessibility Advocacy Organization Project Sidewalk reports a variety of issues for chair users. There are 39 missing sidewalks, 5 missing ramps, 19 surface problems, and 74 obstacles presenting challenges. Despite what the Americans with Disabilities Act says, DC's sidewalk repair policy is full of loopholes. Down in Southeast, the problem is even worse. Hillcrest has 749 missing sidewalks and 217 surface problems. Hillcrest residents oh, Kathy Chamberlain so and Kathy Keene understand this problem intimately. They took me on their usual walking routes to show me what concerns them most. These free routes, rather, um, would get in the way. Now they might say, oh, we can't put a sidewalk here because there's a tree. I don't think you have to take the tree down. There are ways to work around trees. Brian Termail is an ANC commissioner from South Glover Park and a transportation construction expert. He understands sidewalks on multiple levels. As a neighborhood leader who wants his sidewalks to be accessible for all, and as someone who understands the business side of things. There's so many people doing utility cuts or gas line repairs that the city has got to be a lot better at saying, look, if you're going to cut up a sidewalk, you've got to bring it back to the same condition it was in. For Katie and many like her, complaints about damaged roadways are irrelevant when she struggles getting to work. We have the ADA, right? And it's put in place, kind of, the bare minimum in a lot of places. For Katie, that minimum is simply following the spirit of the ADA, making sidewalks accessible for all. Reporting from D.C., Sayana Bichetti.